I promised you a video on the Concord electronics uh, tape recorders um, that I have in my collection. And uh, I've got the F20 sound camera, and we'll look at a video on that. I've got the model F85 sound camera, and I have already done a video on that from the office. And then they had a uh, similar model, the same tape recorder, but with the, the accessories that came with it, the uh, voice-operated microphone. Then there's the model F90 radio quarter, which is a real sweetheart, and you see it here in my, uh, we're going to do a video on it right now. Then also there's the the model 300 reverse track portable and I've got that over on the shelf. So I've got these tape recorders. This is a cassette. So I'm not collecting cassette tape recorders. And let's see. Oh, the model 350 automatic tape recorder. I've got that in my collection as well. And then these are great big honk and tape recorders which I don't have room in my shack for what I've got now, let alone adding great big tape recorders. Mainly what I'm after is the portables. That's what I really uh, love to collect. And so today we're going to look at the Model F90 radio quarter. And you can see it's the easy and fun way to create your own music library and record your favorite music while listening to the radio with the touch of a button. Actually two buttons, but uh, use the radio quarter anywhere. It has batteries or uh, AC current, uh, high fidelity music quality, and two hours of playing time on a single reel. So it uses a little larger reel and or can use a larger reel and records right off the AM radio. So let's take a look at the Concord Model F90 radio quarter. So here we have the F90 Concord radio quarter. It's a dual power radio, has both AC and battery. And you may recall a previous video, I did a video on 3D printing the battery compartments for this. The covers were missing. So I um, uh, designed and 3D printed two new covers for both the AC cord and the batteries. So there's the AC cord and then the battery compartment. So I, I designed these from scratch in Tinkercad and um, they worked out great. Of course, they're a different color, but that's okay. They work out and fit like the originals. And um, so that's the, uh, the setup we've got for the Concord F90. Um, this recorder will, as the text shared a moment ago, will allow you to do a uh, listen to the radio um, and record or record from a microphone here. You can see it has an external speaker switch on it and it has a speaker monitor switch. Um, the zero position is that it turns the speaker off when you're recording. The second position is a very low volume speaker, just to make sure that you can hear that you've got the audio working. And then the, the two position, the second position on the speaker is full volume. So if you're using a microphone, you might get feedback on that level if you have the microphone too close to the speaker, which is in the back of this radio. The only complaint that I have with this radio tape player is that the speaker's in the back so when you're playing it for enjoyment you're listening the sound is going out the back of the radio and it's a little you know what that does to the sound um, that you're of your recording or whatever you're listening to I'll turn the radio on and let's tune it into my let's tune it into my local radio station which is 740 on the AM dial Nice sounding radio. 
beautiful quality sound. Oh, I forgot to mention that it does have a battery gauge here, and you can see that we're running on battery right now. And you can see that I've got a full meter all the way up to the top, which tells me that my batteries are brand new. So we're listening to the AM radio at 7.40 AM, and I'm broadcasting here in the shack. A Pandora channel easy listening Pandora channel and I have no idea whether the YouTube is going to give me a flag for this uh, Music or not. It's very difficult to predict on What YouTube will flag and what they won't but I'm not doing any monetary gain on YouTube So they don't give me too much trouble They just flag it and tell me that if I were doing uh, Monetary gain on videos that I would be red flagged and wouldn't be able to collect any uh, money on this video so no worries that's not my my thing so you can see that the tape player is a capstan drive and it has the the second uh, speed um, capstan roller um, the small one is inch and seven eighths and the large one converts it to um, three and three quarters so because we're recording music today and because I want you to hear worst case what a recording sounds like on inch and seven eighths on this recorder I'm gonna play something that I recorded earlier so let's just uh, start it um, we'll flip to recorder tape play mode and that turns the radio off okay so now we're in the tape recorder mode and we'll turn the volume down a little bit and let's just play um, sometimes it takes a little encouragement to get it going All right This is very old tape. I turned it off. This is very old tape that I used to record on. So it's going to be a little choppy, if that's the right word. A little bit of dropout on the tape. But that's okay. It's just a, it's a 1960s tape recorder, right? So can you see what fun that would have been in the day when AM radio was in its heyday and there was a lot of music on the AM radio? Or favorite radio stations or programs you could record them and you can see how slowly the tape is moving so I could get some pretty good recording on this I think if you were running it in one and six one and seven eighths what did this say we just read it uh, radio quarter two hours on a single reel I these are imp, uh, very uh, incomplete reels so a full size reel, three and a half inch or three and a quarter, filled completely up, running at inch and seven eighths, might give you an hour per side. I would be surprised, frankly. But in any case, I don't plan to record any music that long. I uh, just wanted to give you a taste of what the quality is of the music, which is surprisingly very good. So I'm encouraged by the quality of the music. Uh, recording. You can hear the dropouts a little bit. Boy, that certainly is relaxing music, isn't it? Takes me back to the 60s growing up 
my parents listened to a radio station that played this music all day. WGLD Gold FM 100. I don't remember what there was in uh, out of South Bend, Indiana. So you probably have some favorite channels that you listened to when you were a kid. But that's what I grew up on was the elevator music. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video on the Concord F90. And it is a jewel and one of the uh, four or five pieces that I have in my collection. And I was really tickled to stumble on this one. I got a good deal on it because it was missing the covers. And as you can see, that's not a problem for this little F90. Well, leave your comments and any questions and uh, give me a thumbs up if you'd like. Thanks again for watching.